would it benefit Brock Purdy to start the season on the bench? Best case scenario, zero setbacks. He gets like three weeks to prepare for week one. Last year, he had all of the offseason plus a lot of the season to be the scout team quarterback. He got inserted week 13 when the team was rolling, and he was ready to go, and it all worked out. He was almost like the closer. Would it benefit for him? Would it benefit him to be called out of the bullpen again, or do you think nothing bad could happen? Well, I, oh, what do you think? Could it benefit him? Well, I don't know. I don't know how he's feeling. To be honest, I don't know if he's if he's got fatigue, if he's got pain, if there's stiffness, swelling, soreness. Um, I don't know how that elbow's feeling. Assuming full health. He absolutely, it wouldn't benefit him to sit because if he sits, in my opinion, Trey will play and then Trey, I think is going to play well. And then you've got a full bore, um, you know, if Trey plays as well as I think Trey can play this year, I think, and you, and you gave him a month, I think he could play so well that it was just a, a, um, ongoing all season long, can't put the you know genie back in the bottle. Quarterback debate between the fans, the players, the media, and everybody. That's what I I expect Trey to be able to play well this year. And there's no reason he shouldn't be able to play well. He knows the offense. Um, he looked really, really to me. Grant, I was trying to describe this to somebody. A buddy of mine who's a scout was like, "Krug, tell me, let's talk a little bit about what you saw at the mini camp." And I'm like, well, you know what? I think Trey reminded me in this mini camp of Brock in last year's mini camp. And he's like, okay, go with that. That's good. And so we start talking about it. He's like, how so? And I'm like, well, last year I just felt like Brock mastered every drill and it just looked right. Trey had some great brief moments of awesome and then brief moments of inaccuracy and, and, you know, indecision. Windows uh, plays where he's holding the ball throughout the window and he's got to get rid of it. He's he's questioning himself. You could just he looked like an under repped quarterback, which is what he was. Yeah. Brock looked very much on time and very much like he was like he's done every drill they were doing. He had done it before and was mastering it. Well, that's what I saw this summer or this spring, I guess, from Trey. He knew every drill that was coming and he was mastering those drills. So that's what I saw. And I, I, I think that that's going to that's gonna bleed over into training camp, and you're going to see him, um, you know, in the preseason, produce successful drives that produce points. I'm curious to see if Brock Purdy plays in the preseason. I'm curious to see if he plays in the training camp. I just feel like for him, it wouldn't hurt to start the season on the bench. Uh, he, he, you're either getting better or you're getting worse. He has no offseason to get better. He's rehabbing. So I, I think it would benefit him. I mean. Not just the fact that he's had no offseason, but the fact that the Niners' offensive line is really there more to run block than to pass block. The fact that the Niners can't keep a quarterback healthy for more than two months. I think I, if I were on the Niners, I'd want to be the dude that's the last dude coming out of the bullpen, not the dude starting the game. I know I'm I hear, getting that hook in the third inning, man. It's, I'm not I lasting you. past the third inning. No, I hear you. I, I also I, I do think there's something to, hey, you know what? You're probably not going to go the full year. Uh, without having some kind of an injury, and this minimizes your exposure. Um, I would say, though, that there. Were, do you think Brock benefited from sitting last year? Because let's look at it for what it was. What it was was he pl played in the preseason. He played well in the preseason. That was in September. Then he did not play the rest of September or October or November. Didn't get in there until, what, 10 days or so into the month of December. This guy sat for three months, for three months, he didn't get any reps with the first team at all. Did that benefit him? Some people would argue that it did benefit him, but no reps at all. And if he if he's not the starter to begin this year, is he getting reps with the first team? Maybe, maybe, but maybe probably not. So I don't know. I mean, I definitely think that he's a more apt to be able to get through the season healthy if you gave him a month off, but I think I would say that about any quarterback. Yeah. I don't know. I, it's going to be interesting to see how they handle this one. They've they started out like three and three, like three years in a row. Um, it's possible. The Niners feel like who cares about September? 
we, we know where we're going to be when where, where November starts. We, it's all about November and on. And as, as long as we have Brock, then we're good. Um, that might be one way to look at it. Like who gives a damn? I mean, unless you're trying to like get the number, get the one, number seed. one seed, but mm-hmm. you're not going to get it. You're not. Well, you might. I mean, they went undefeated in the division last year. And I don't know about you, but to me, the division looks like crap. I mean, I, I don't think the Rams Seattle are going to do anything. Arizona doesn't look like anything. Seattle Seattle's looks better. 20, Seattle's 26th in the NFL against the run last year, and they didn't add anybody in their front. Right. Yeah, Bobby I mean, Wagner. Draymond at, Jones. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Actually, Draymond Jones will should help a little bit. They're going to be better. I, Okay, I mean Seattle. It, I Seattle. Seattle yeah, Seattle, yeah, yeah. The, the Rams and the Cardinals. The rest of the Rams and the Cardinals. Awful. Yeah, not even worth talking about. They they, they have so many starters in their team. You're like, who the fuck is that? Sorry, oh, yeah. cursing. All right, let's well, look, the look at look at the Cardinals. The Cardinals didn't 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 have to get rid of D Hop because of cap reasons. No. They got rid of D Hop because ah, our quarterback's out it, for the year. Why pay thirty million dollars to a receiver when we ain't going to win Jack? That's fuck basically it. what they said. It hey, is the fuck it. Sorry, I'm I'm gonna stop cursing. Vincent Campos says, "Grant, you rip on Brock regularly. Weak arms, small ceiling. I rip on him. I'm just not necessarily sold that he's a franchise quarterback, like Larry says. But I do think he's good, and I think I agree with Alex that his level of play is sustainable." Mike drops Monsa says, "Brock eight games UCL surgery. Trey four games. Darnold minimal time in offense. All three quarterbacks are more likely to have growing pains. Brock's ace in the hole is his contract. Those eight games aren't even in the NFL." Yeah, like Brock's playing like on the NFL version of minimum wage. You got to love that about you. You can't be even, mad at Brock. Oh yeah, he doesn't even exist on the freaking payroll. He's not even there. It's like if you were on the team, Larry. Anything he does is gravy, and it's a lot of gravy. You, you got to remember this too. I I saw this stat when I was doing my pre-camp uh, breakdown on the Niners, which only consists of like buying like four different magazines and seeing exactly what's in them. But one of the stats that I saw, which I thought was really interesting, outside of 2019, Grant, the Niners have gone six straight years using at least three quarterbacks. Yeah. So the odds are, if you like one of these quarterbacks, odds are you're going to get a chance to see them. What a shameful pattern. Mike drops with Monza again, says, let's all at least be honest about Kyle fumbling Trey's development. Darnold wasn't an injury hedge until they seen Trey's development. Now he is. Yeah, it's it seemed like they brought in Sam not really expecting Trey to make a stride. And I think what they were saying was, look, we have to, you know, allow for the possibility that Trey could make an improvement the way Justin uh, Hurts did, Jalen Hurts did. Jaylen. But, we, we, I mean, we can't make this happen. And so Trey just goes and finds some quarterback coach that the Niners didn't recommend and it happens and then and the Niners like oh great wonderful thank you very much hey Sam remember those things we told you when we when we signed you forget it you suck (laughs) sorry well there's no doubt Darnold was a hedge Darnold was a hedge yeah the question is yeah was he a hedge on on Brock's elbow was he a hedge on Trey's ankle was he a hedge on the league adjusting the Brock was he a hedge on uh Trey's development I don't know but he was a hedge 